What makes people afraid? I think what makes people afraid, number one, is they have no personal relationship with God. Mm. So when they look around them, what do they have to protect them? Oh, what uh, is the source of their strength? What's the source of their needs? And when you leave God out of your life, you've left your heart out. You've, you've left the source of life out. You leave God out of your life, it's you versus the world. And if you mm. see all the things that are happening around us today and uh, how unsafe things are, I mean, when you and I were kids growing up, people didn't walk in malls and shoot people and uh, didn't th happen in schools. All the things that we see happening around is creating unrest, it's creating doubt, fears, uh, uncertainty, and it's the gospel that solidifies our relationship to God, and it's the gospel that is our invisible but very powerful protector. Mm. Well, God has not given us a spirit of fear, the Bible says, and even those of us who are believers, we are we are tempted to fear. We are, in, in some cases, fear grips our lives. How can we take the necessary steps to really release the grip of that fear that comes into our lives? Well, one of the reasons we have that fear is we take our eyes off the mm -hmm. Lord and we look around us and we begin to judge our circumstances by what we see, what we hear, and what we feel rather than what God says, which says to me, if you want to be fearless, you must know the Lord personally. And the best way to defend yourself against fear is to get into the Word of God. In other words, God's Word is filled with promises of assurance, of encouragement to uh, be courageous and put our trust in Him. When you leave the Word of God out of your life, you got lots of reasons to be afraid. Mm. And when we discover or when we act on these these negative emotions in our lives and we, we we recognize it's not pleasing to god we're being weighed down we're facing burdens where our emotions are out of balance that is how, how do we get get back in focus and get back into the place where god wants us first of all a, a person has to realize where they are then they have to ask the question do i want to stay here or do i want to change and a person mm. has to make a decision. I do want to change. I don't want to stay like this. I don't want to be afraid. I don't want to be angry, resentful, hostile, bitter, all the things that happen to people. I don't want that in my life. What's the solution? The solution is a personal, intimate relationship with God through His Son, Jesus Christ. Get on your knees and ask God to forgive you for whatever is there that shouldn't be there. Tell Him that you're relying upon Him for everything that you're trusting Him to guide you, to lead you, to protect you, to watch over, to care mm. for you, and that you're surrendering your life to Him for His sake, and you're believing that He will answer the needs of your heart. Mm. What do you see as some of the most tangible expressions of Christ's presence within us as it's manifested in our emotional health? Well, I think one of the primary ones is forgiveness. If a person has a forgiving spirit, God can keep him on track. If, if you find yourself resentful, hostile, angry toward other people, and you travel that road, you're going to stumble, you're going to fall, you're not going to get anywhere. It is, I, if I can mention one word, presence. Hmm. His presence. Hmm. My awareness of his presence eliminates the fear. Awareness of his presence eliminates the uncertainty of life. The awareness of his presence solidifies me to face everything every day. Mm.